Hello everyone. Today we are discussing non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, commonly referred to as NAFLD, is emerging as one of the most common liver disorders in the world. It's estimated that close to 25% of the global population suffers from excess fat buildup in their liver. In its early stages, fatty liver disease often goes undetected, as visible symptoms don't always manifest right away. However, as the disease advances, several red flags can arise. Based on my research, these are the top five fatty liver symptoms that individuals should be aware of. Leading the pack of common symptoms is an abnormally high level of fatigue, lethargy, and an overall feeling of weakness. As fatty deposits accumulate inside liver cells, they obstruct normal biological functions. The liver plays a fundamental role in energy production by processing nutrients, manufacturing proteins, and removing toxins from the bloodstream. When infiltrated with fat vacuoles, the liver fails to properly regulate glucose metabolism and detoxify the body. Consequently, brain fog sets in, muscles feel exhausted, and the body struggles through routine activities. Even a task as simple as walking up a flight of stairs can leave a naffled patient feeling utterly spent and wiped out. Right below fatigue on the symptoms chart is stomach discomfort situated in the upper abdominal area. More specifically, a dull ache, fullness, and swelling develop around the upper right quadrant below the ribs, overlying where the liver is situated anatomically. As hepatocytes bloat up with lipids, the liver swells in size and becomes inflamed. This infuriation triggers nerve endings in the liver capsule, leading to diffuse pain and tenderness. In some instances, this discomfort spreads upward into the shoulder region or back. Indigestion right after eating is also commonly reported. On the list manifests itself through digestive complaints like nausea, vomiting, and poor appetite. When bogged down by fat, the liver loses its efficiency in producing bile and digestive enzymes critical for breaking down fats and proteins. Poor digestion sets off a chain reaction of symptoms stemming from nutritional deficiencies, electrolyte imbalances, intestinal hurry, and the accumulation of toxic metabolites that would normally be discarded by the liver. The resultant clinical picture is that of bloating, heartburn, diarrhea, or constipation, loss of taste, bad breath, and profound weight loss. Further along the disease trajectory, an ominous sign begins developing in the form of yellowish discoloration of the skin and sclera, or white portion of the eyes. Term jaundice or icterus in medical nomenclature, this cardinal symptom stems from abnormally high levels of bilirubin in the blood. Bilirubin is the yellow pigmented byproduct of old red blood cells, which a healthy liver captures and excretes. However, as NAFL damage accrues, the liver loses this crucial filtering capacity causing blood bilirubin levels to spike. Skin and ocular membranes being translucent offer a sneak peek into rising bilirubin trends. As liver failure sets in, it unleashes a group of neurological symptoms highlighted by mental fog, memory lapses, and impaired concentration. Experts theorize that as liver cells disintegrate, toxic substances that would normally be detoxified by the liver seep into the circulation and permeate past the blood-brain barrier. Brain cells bathed in this toxic milieu short circuit and struggle to maintain normal activity. Patients start reporting episodes of disorientation, forgetfulness, and problems staying focused. Higher functions like numerical calculations, analytical thinking, and even laughing at jokes become challenging. Tragically, some of these changes can be irreversible if cirrhosis sets in. Hence, early detection and swift medical intervention are key. In a nutshell, fatigue, abdominal tenderness, nausea, jaundice, and diminished brain function constitute the five most common red flags heralding the onset of advancing fatty liver disease. Catching these symptoms early and consulting with a hepatologist skilled at tackling NAFLD can pay big dividends in the long run. Through a combination of lifestyle modifications and selective medications, fatty infiltration can be arrested and liver architecture preserved before cirrhotic remodeling sets in but the clock is ticking rather fast once symptoms surface. Hence, patients must overcome denial and take ownership of this diagnosis by arming themselves with education and surrounding themselves with a multidisciplinary support team. Recovery from fatty liver disease is very possible with diligence and expert guidance. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far, and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.